Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Dr. Steven Roth and I'm a board certified oral and maxillofacial pathologist. It's April, which means it is officially once again Oral Cancer Awareness Month. In today's video, I'll be talking about a possible brand new way to fight oral cancer by creating a virus that attacks cancer. First, we have to get into that disclaimer, and that is that all opinions expressed in this video are mine and mine alone, and do not represent any organization that may employ me or that I may belong to, and that this video is for educational purposes only and should not serve as medical advice. Should you have any questions or concerns about your oral or systemic health, please see your nearest oral or systemic health care provider. Yes, you heard me correctly. They are currently working on a virus to fight cancer. This may sound like something out of a science fiction movie, but it is very much reality. A Japanese biotech company called Onkelis Biopharma is currently conducting phase two trials of a new therapy called telemyelicin. A phase two trial is meant to determine the effectiveness of a medication once safety of a medication is established in phase one. In the United States, the trial is currently being performed at Weill Medical College of Cornell University. The trial began in May of 2021 and is looking at how telemyelicin with pembrolizumab and radiation compares to the standard outcomes for patients with inoperable or recurrent head and neck squamous cell carcinomas. I actually talked about pembrolizumab during my Oral Cancer Awareness Month videos last year, and I've linked to that video down below in the description. So what exactly is telemyelicin? Telemyelicin is an adenovirus which is actually the same family of virus that causes the common cold. This virus has been modified so that it only attacks cancer cells. This helps fight the cancer in two ways. First, the virus integrates its genetic code into the genetic code of the cell. It does this through something called human telomerase reverse transcriptase. This directs the cell to make more virus. It makes so much virus that it causes the cancer cells to lice or explode open so it can go and infect other tumor cells. This is good for two reasons. First, it's actually destroying the tumor cells it affects directly. Second, it creates an environment that tells our immune system that it needs to act. All of the inflammation from the destruction of these cells calls in our immune system to come in and to start doing cleanup. The hope is that this will allow our immune system to start recognizing these tumor cells and start attacking them as well as this virus as it integrates into other tumor cells. This all sounds pretty incredible, right? Well, there still is a long way to go before we start seeing this type of treatment being incorporated as standard of care. We need significantly more data to show that this treatment is both safe and effective. I still wanted to share this trial for a few reasons. First, I wanted to shed some light on novel ways we're looking to fight cancer. This is completely unlike anything we've done in the past. Second, I think it's encouraging to know that we're constantly trying to find new and innovative ways to improve outcomes for our patients. It shows that the scientific community cares about those diagnosed with this awful disease. It's really encouraging to know that you have researchers all over the world that want to help. Finally, I thought it was super interesting and I hope that you do too. If you found this as fascinating as I did, be sure to give this video a like and share it with someone else who may find it interesting. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching and be well.